I'm Sir Bernard Chumley, and welcome to my personal voyage around great houses of England. Today, we're at Baxter Grange, once home to Admiral Nelson, the old sailor. Work started on Baxter Grange in 1805. The house was completed in 1805, and in 1805, Nelson took up residence until his death in 1805. After that, the house lay empty until 1805, when it came into the hands of a local merchant. In 1805, the house was brought back by the Nelson family, who have lived here since 1805. As it happens, the house holds very special memories for me. Many years ago, I... Yeah. As it happens, the house holds very special memories for me. You've got permission to film here? Yes. Just checking. As it happens, the house holds very special memories for me. Many years ago, I appeared in a film here based on the life of Lord Nelson. I wasn't playing Nelson, that role went to Peter Ustinov, but I did play the part of Hardy, and you may remember my line, I'm just chasing Rainbow, the Trantable motorway through my house, but I don't want to move. The dining room here at Baxter Grange is dominated by this grand portrait of Admiral Nelson, and uh, he cuts quite a dashing figure. I remember a lot of people at the time said, why Ustinov? But I think he did a bloody good job, and people should stop going on about it. It was certainly better than his Poirot, which I thought was too fat. I digress. Throughout the house, there really is the most magnificent attention to detail. Just look at these wonderful nautical reliefs that Nelson had crafted around this door. God knows how Ustinov got through this. This collection of maps is nice. Books. Look, it's like an old pen. <laughs> these tapestries were a gift from a visiting sultan. They were made from a specially woven Moroccan silk which was very fashionable during... He just wasn't Nelson. I'm sorry, but he wasn't. Ustinov's fine if you want some sort of comedy chink or an obese French copper, but he just wasn't Horatio. I'm sorry, but he wasn't. He's not even an actor. He's just an overweight man who tells stories. And all his impressions are rubbish. In fact, he's only got one impression, Ronald Reagan. Oh, hello, I'm Ronald Reagan. Rubbish. I'm joined now by the current owner of Baxter Grange and great-great-great-great-grandson of Horatio himself, Sir Henry Nelson. Henry, all right? Hello. Hen, tell me about this. Well, this uniform was worn by my great-great-great-grandfather at the Battle of Trafalgar. You can even see the hole left by the sniper's bullet. Obviously, this uniform is the most treasured item in the house. Certainly one of my favourites. Right, and you, you let Eustinoff wear it. Well, there's rather an interesting story attached to that. Whilst they were filming the final scene, in which Horatio tragically passes away. Yes, I was in the film too. Uh, were you? Yes. Uh, really? Yes! <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> Sir Peter rather cheekily asked if he could try it on for size. <laughs> I was so taken aback, I had to say yes. I'm going to be just a little bit cheeky here myself. Um, I wonder if there's any chance I could... Uh, Try it on for size? No. Right! It was behind this bush that Lord Nelson courted Lady Hamilton, entering into an affair... Here, yeah, I said, oh, you got some filth in that camera! I'm trying to make a television <laughs> programme here. What do you want? Nothing, Bush. I'm just sweeping the leaves. Well, you do your job, I'll do mine. I see it's not actually my job. Uh, I'm doing this as a favour. Well, I say that. It's actually part of my probation. I am trying to make a television He's programme. He's trying to make a television programme. Can we have a bit of quiet, please? Thank you. It was behind this bush that Lady Nelson courted Lord Hamilton, entering... Sorry, into... I can hear somebody talking somewhere. Can we please have quiet? Shh. 
I can still hear voices. Thank you. It was behind this court that Lady Lord Nelson was entering Hamilton Bush. I'm terribly sorry. There's somebody in the background of shot. I'll just kind of have a word. Lord Nelson was entering Lady Hamilton from behind when he got caught in her bush. Right, cut! Tree break! Bet you know where this uh, golden potato's hidden. Where haven't the fog is? I've looked everywhere here, I can't find it. I couldn't care less. Just think of it. Find that golden potato and you win a year's supply of crisps. Could be a way out of all of this for both of us. Really? Yeah. People would look at us very differently with a year's supply of Chris under our belts. People like Lord Lardy, though. No, him. Do you know he wouldn't even let me try on the uniform? Oh, wouldn't he? No. Well, come on, then. What are you? A man? Or a woman? No, genuinely, what are you? I don't know. Right. Anyone who thinks Houston offers a better actor than me is about to look very, very silly indeed. Who are Jim Lard? I'm Lord Nelson. That's why I'm the captain of the Fish Finger. Hello, sailor. Hello, Hardy. So you better watch out for that sniper's bullet. What sniper's bullet? Oh, I am shot. Kiss me, Hardy. Go on, do your line. I'm just teasing rainbows. They're trying to build motorways for my house, but I don't want to move. Perfect. How? How dare you? How dare you? Who do you think you are? I'm Admiral Nelson. No, you're not, you stupid fool. Get up. Get up at once. You've made a mockery of my ancestor. I remember now. You were cut out of that Oosternoff film because you're such an appalling actor. Well, if I'm such an appalling actor, how come I'm presenting this documentary on stately homes? <laughs> Right, well, I'll be off then. What have you done to the coat? It's ruined. Oh. It's not ruined. It'd be ruined, right, if you ripped it like this. Yeah, it'd be ruined if you were to, to take it off and, and, and jump up and down on it and ruin it like this. Or if you were to pick it up, yeah, from with it, yeah, like this, yeah, and then throw it in a lake, like that. But then it'd be ruined, Sunshine. I'll grant you that. I'm calling security. Please help me. I'm down by the lake. Um, <clears throat> I haven't been paid for last week yet. It's national insurance. Oh. Come on. Well, it was lovely to meet you. Have you got a car? No, I caught the bus. There they are. Off the top. Let's take his car. Get in. We've been driving for three hours now. I do think we've lost them. So what do you say we join forces and search for this golden potato together? I was just going to suggest the same thing myself. And if we find it, we'll split the crisp straight down the middle. 50-40. Done. Oh, I do like crisps, you know. Where to next? Browning Abbey. And hurry, we shall not rest until the golden potato is ours. Well, what about your TV show? Oh, f that. <laughs>